Hello, this is Seth from Northland Dodge and Prince George, and today we're taking a look at a 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Under the hood, we have a 3.2 liter V6 engine and a 9 speed automatic transmission. This guy's in Anvil. It looks great. You do have the black accenting on the hood there, as well as you got your Jeep badging there. You have your red accented tow hooks just down there, and it does also come with bi function projector style headlights there. You do also have your fog lights just down there. And coming around the side here, we do have 17 inch rims with Firestone brand tires. Look great, still lots of tread left on them, and the rims look fantastic. You do also have heated exterior mirrors right there. And coming all the way around to the back here, we do have our Trailhawk badging Jeep and 4x4 with another red accented tow hook back here. You got that backup camera there. You can open it up just like this. Lots of room back here. Looks great, very soft as well, keeping it. Uh, Nice and safe if you did put stuff back here. You can lift this up and you do have your spare tire just underneath there if you did ever need it and you got some additional storage on the sides as well. Okay, we got our keys here. Two presses to unlock, one press to lock, and you do have two presses to activate your remote start. Especially nice in the winter, it'll get nice and warm for you. You don't have to go outside in the cold and gross. Now let's unlock and let's take a look on the inside here. So on the door here, you do have your electric mirrors, windows, and locks all right here. You do have some uh, silver accenting on your handle here. You also have a handle here, and you got some leather to put your arm on. Very comfortable. It has that red stitching as well. Looks great. You get some storage down here with the water bottle holder. Looks awesome in here. It is leather with that trail hawk and that red badging again, or that, sorry, that red uh, stitching. Looks fantastic. You do have the controls over your lights, so if you're auto, you're off, your daytime running lights and your low beams, as well as your fog lights if, or, yeah, sorry, your fog lights if you press them in. And then up here we do have the controls over our high beams and turning signals. And then down here we do also have the controls of our seats, so backward and forward, as well as the tilt and the lumbar support. Okay, let's start up here. So key in the ignition, and we're good to go. Now in the center here we do have our speedometer and our odometer as well as our fuel gauge and our engine temperature. We also have how many kilometers we've been, 41,000, not too bad at all. We have the temperature outside and which way we're facing. Now you can switch that around to our vehicle info. We got our fuel economy, trip info, stop start options. We got our audio, stored messages, screen setup, and then back to your speedometer. Now that is controlled from your steering wheel right here with your voice recognition, your call out and your hang out for your Bluetooth horn in the center and your cruise control options on the other side right there. Right over here we do have the controls over our windshield wipers and our rear windshield wipers. And then over here we do have an 8.4 inch touch screen display. So we got all sorts of different stuff. We have AM, FM, and Sirius XM here. We have our media tab if we have one hooked up through USB, SD card, uh, <clears throat> aux cord, or Bluetooth. Then we also have our controls over heated seat and heated steering wheel. We got the controls over the AC and all that, all the uh, climate controls. You have your navigation. If you hit view map, you can see we are in rec place. You have your phone options right there, and you also have your settings right over here. When you are in reverse, you got that ever useful backup camera keeping you nice and safe. And then you also have a little bit of uh, storage just up there, which is very nice and cool. Down here, you do have your volume up and down with your mute. You got your screen off, traction control, uh, your stop start. You have your back button and then your browser over there. So we also have our AC, circulation, heat up and down. We have our off, our power, and then front rate of frost. Down here we do have our terrain selector. So we have snow, sport, sand, mud, and rock. Then you have your four wheel and all those different options there. Then over here we do have an SD card slot, USB, and aux cord. We got this guy, which is our, uh, our gear shift. You also have your electronic parking brake right there and your cup holders right here. You have your armrest, very comfortable, doubles as a storage container. You got your top layer there and your bottom layer right there and it does have a USB, or sorry, a, uh, yeah, USB plug-in and uh, another plug-in right over there. You got a locking glove box just over here with your owner's manual inside of it. Lots of room in there as well. And then up top, you do have a sunglass holder. Okay, let's take a look in the back here. Open this guy up. On the door here, you do have that same silver accenting. You have the control over your windows, handle here and some storage down here. It is leather back here as well, lots of room. Does seat five people all together. You can fold this down and you do have some cup holders and an armrest. You can also fold this down like this and you do have extra room back here if you did need to haul some extra stuff. And there's our 3.2 liter V6 engine. And that does it for my walk around for you, the 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. If you wanna come and take a closer look for yourself or take it for a test drive, come on down to Northland Dodge and Prince George and talk to our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.